بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah the most compassionate most merciful Surely those who say our Lord is Allah and then remain steadfast the angels descend upon them saying do not fear nor grieve rather rejoice in the good news of paradise which you have been promised we are supporters in this worldly life and in the hereafter there you will have whatever your souls desire and there you will have whatever you ask for an accommodation from the all forgiving most merciful lord and whose words are better than someone who calls others to allah does good and says i am truly one of those who submit good and evil cannot be equal respond to evil with what is best then the one you are in a feud with will be like a close friend but this cannot be attained except by those who are patient and who are truly fortunate and if you are tempted by satan then seek refuge with allah indeed he alone is all hearing all knowing among his signs are the day and the night the sun and the moon do not prostrate to the sun or the moon but prostrate to allah who created them all if you truly worship him alone but if the pagans are too proud then let them know that those angels nearest to your lord glorify him day and night and never grow weary and among his signs is that you see the earth devoid of life but as soon as we send down rain upon it it begins to stir to life and swell indeed the one who revives it can easily revive the dead he is certainly most capable of everything indeed those who abuse our revelations are not hidden from us who is better the one who will be cast into the fire or the one who will be secure on judgment day do whatever you want he is certainly all seeing of what you do indeed those who deny the reminder after it has come to them are doomed for it is truly a mighty book it cannot be proven false from any angle it is a revelation from the one who is all wise praiseworthy o prophet nothing is said to you by the deniers except what was already said to the messengers before you surely your lord is to the lord of forgiveness and painful punishment had we revealed it as a non arabic quran they would have certainly argued if only its verses were made clear in our language what a non arabic revelation for an arab audience say o prophet it is a guide and a healing to the believers as for those who disbelieve there is deafness in their ears and blindness to it in their hearts it is as if they are being called from a far away place indeed we had given moses the scripture but differences arose regarding it had it not been for a prior decree from your lord their differences would have been settled at once they are truly in alarming doubt about it whoever does good it is to their own benefit and whoever does evil it is to their own loss your lord is never unjust to his creation with him alone is the knowledge of the hour no fruit comes out of its husk nor does a female conceive or deliver without his knowledge and consider the day he will call to them where are my so called associate gods they will cry we declare before you that none of us testifies to that any longer whatever idols they used to invoke besides allah will fail them and they will realize that they will have no escape one never tires of praying for good and if touched with evil they become desperate and hopeless and if we let them taste a mercy from us after being touched with adversity they will certainly say this is what i deserve i do not think the hour will ever come and if in fact i am returned to my lord the finest reward with him will definitely be mine but we will surely inform the disbelievers of what they used to do
and we will certainly make them taste a harsh torment. When we show favor to someone, they turn away, acting arrogantly, and when touched with evil, they make endless prayers for good. Ask them, O Prophet, imagine if this Qur'an is truly from Allah, and you deny it, who can be more astray than those who have gone too far in opposition to the truth? We will show them our signs in the universe and within themselves until it becomes clear to them that this Qur'an is the truth. Is it not enough that your Lord is a witness over all things? They are truly in doubt of the meeting with their Lord. But he is indeed fully aware of everything 